working with electronic service, I've seen some pretty weird devices, but uh, this is one of the weirdest ones I've seen thus far. Uh, looking at it from this outside perspective, it's obviously uh, a hairdresser's hairdryer. Like, uh, there's a thousand units like this, you, you, you couldn't mistake it. But if you take a closer look, it's got a label about laser radiation. And uh, if <laughs> if you actually turn the power on, you've got <laughs> uh, the head laser o shino device. And it came in here for a broken power supply, which I've obviously fixed. But I just can't get over how ridiculous this thing is. It's supposed to, I believe, according to the guy who brought it in, bring people's hair back by, well, shining a laser at the head. So, yeah. I'm not buying into it, and I've got enough hair as this. But uh, the worst thing about this device is if we unplug the dangerous American mains adapter and take the lid off it's it just becomes so much more obvious that this is just uh, an old hairdryer which some company has purchased in bulk and made their own innards for so what we've got is a normal mains cable wart here, putting out 12 volts DC, which has been wire uh, hot glued and zip tied to a piece of acrylic, which is attaching to the normal fan mount. And the fan has been replaced by a piece of acrylic mounting a Vero board with laser diodes on them connected by fiber optic cables down into the whatever you want to call that, head scoop. And uh, this is the normal control board in this, which they have modified to accept 12 volts through a bodged-on DC plug there. Very, very nice engineering. You can see some further mods under there. I haven't had that board out. And uh, they've just... Uh, brought mains through it here somehow, uh, I haven't touched this board we put a piece of tape over that and hot glued everything in place they've installed their own custom main board, kind of or well, this could just be bodged, I'm not entirely sure since they custom... Uh, well no, this is... Pro the board is probably stuck, they just have their own label on it since it's just a timer board anyway. And uh, uh, they've got a the power switch is obviously bodged on though. It's a two pole switch which they've just used one pole off to break the mains. So this thing is entirely lethal if you leave it plugged in and uh, work on it. And uh, it, they even bodged this power supply which is the one that failed because these usually come with uh, connectors for the input and output, but they put these uh, uh, screw-on connectors on, and not very well at that. Mm. They don't rarely fit the board, so you can see how the leads are bent. I reused those from the old power supply, which was beyond saving. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. It also has this obviously bodged on timer here which just takes power from from there not from the not from there where the mains is actually connected but it comes from the power supply for some reason so yeah that's the insides of magic hair growing laser <laughs> laser gun this thing exists for some reason. Cheerio. Wow, I can feel my hair growing already.
Oh god! Too much! Too much!